Hello guys, Diplomat here from the 102nd Albatross Virtual Squadron. The background you can hear uh, a couple of F-16s on the ramp, Tbilisi. I'm just reviewing our last mission from yesterday, which was amazing. So, uh, what I'm going to show you guys today is how to use a VGME. Some guys have been some issues with it, with this, so I'm going to clarify how to use it. Uh, and why OVGME, first of all, because uh, comparing to other uh, apps or softwares that you can have to do the same thing, OVGME allows you to have multiple folders. In this case, for DCS, it's very handy because we want to have a folder for the saved games mods, another folder for the DCS root mods. The folders, I mean, the mod can be installed in one of these two folders. That's why it's important to have them both. I used to have another um, software to do this, but I was only allowed to use one folder. I was using the root folder, meaning that all the saved games mods, I would have to install them manually. At this point, um, it's not very practical. I really recommend you guys to use OVJME, and that's the only one we can provide you support with to help you installing the mods. On our website, you can find on the new file management system web page, we have all the uh, files ready, uh, ha hangar files, knee boards, um, and other mods that you might have. I was doing some checks on my F-16. <laughs> okay, so uh, back here to our website, you can see I specify, we specify here uh, where to install the mods, DCS root folder, or add on to DCS saved games folder, add on to DCS saved games folder. What this means is that once you download these files, you are going to place them in the correct folder. Here you can see I have on my Eagle Dynamics uh, folder, I do have the OV, GME and backup folders. You can place these wherever you want. I just recommend not to place inside of the DCS uh, main folder because if there's an update let, let me just lower the volume on this yes um, if there's an update they might delete all the folders that are not um, the original folders from the cs right so you would lose all your files we don't want that so just in case place them outside of the dcs uh, world op open beta folder anywhere you want to keep it clear, I have the root OVGME folder near my main DCS folder and the saved games, same thing. So I have the DCS open beta saved games folder and then on top of it I have the uh, OVGME saved games add-ons folder and also the backup. How do you do this? When you have the OVGME app you, you will create a new one. You'll see this page when you create a new one. You type in the name. That's the name you see here. Then you place the configuration root folder for this one, which is the root. So I place here the DCS Ecodynamics, uh, the root folder. This is where you have your game installed. And then I created these two, the uh, OV GME and the backup. Again, this one and this one. Inside of this OVGME, it's where you're going to place all the zip files you download that are to be placed on the root folder. All the zip files you download that are meant to be uh, in the saved games folder, going to place them in your OVGME saved games add-on folder. Those have to be different folders. So for the root folder and saved games, you cannot use the same add-on folder. That's why you you have to have two different folders. Uh, and again, that's why I have the saved games of the Jimmy folder, where I have all the add-ons or mods that I want to, to enable in DCS for saved games. And I have the same for the root folder. So again, for the saved games, the root folder is the DCS open beta saved games folder. You specify once again the folders you created where you are placing the mods 
on the, for the saved games and the backup, which I also recommend, we would folder same thing. One more time, the configuration mods folder for the root and the saved games cannot be the same. You shouldn't place them inside of the DCS main folders, either saved games or root. Other than that, you can place them anywhere you want. I also recommend activating the backup folder. Just create an extra folder. I just add in front of it backup. And you don't have to worry about this anymore. Okay, and that's it about the installation. Now, when, whenever you want to activate, disable or enable a mod, it's very simple. You select them, one or all, with control or shift key on the keyboard. Sometimes there are some errors, but no, nothing to worry about. In this case, because this is in regards to the F14, I believe uh, those knee boards are placed in the same place. That's why there's an error. So for example, you download, I have downloaded already. I, uh, you click uh, on the knee board you want to download or any other mod or skin. You click on download. You have the file on your downloads. You copy the file, so you can see it. You copy the file. This one is to be placed on the saved games folder, so you go to your saved games, OV, GME, saved games, mods folder, and here's a file. I downloaded it. Once the file is here, you'll see it on the list. You click enable, and that's it, done. You want to disable? Done. So, uh, one final thing, I really recommend you guys to disable, and you, well, you really have to disable all the mods that you have installed on both your saved games and root folder. Disable everything for every single update you have on DCS. If not, you're going to, f to have some, uh, some issues. Right, guys, uh, for now, that's it. Uh, in the future, we are going, uh, we are working on this. We are going to place all of these on the server, not the Google Drive, but in the server itself. Uh, so you, you, you can then um, update directly. So in the future, we are just going to, to query uh, and we are going to see this is from another server. We are going to see uh, if there's any updates or not to be done to the modules so you can uh, so it can be easier for you to update the modules. But uh, for a later video, it's not ready yet. So for now, you download all the skins, all the files that you want. You place them in the correct mods folder, either saved games or root. And then you enable them. Right, guys, have a good one. And I hope you to see you soon in the virtual skies. Bye-bye.